Okay, so now we're going to pick up where we left off. Um, we're going to actually start our programming. So one thing I'd like to highlight is the fact of if you want to comment something in a structured text program, basically you just um, do two forward slashes and then you can put the comments. So uh, like this would be uh, how to comment. And then you can, I like to close it with that too. You don't have to um, it, for that matter. You know, you can go ahead and just, you know, um, you don't have to close it like that. That just, what the, the uh, two forward slashes does is basically just lets it know it's a comment. If not, <clears throat> if not, then basically it shows that um, that's when you're starting the actual program. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll, uh, we'll make a couple of tags. And then, but we'll first start off with if. And you see that turns in as blue right so it it automatically you know populates and knows and then we'll start out and we'll make a tag so at this point we'll right click and make a new tag and this was going to be our dent um, so we'll just use this as like a, a speed command so in this instance we'll just we'll use it as a speed command so what we'll what we'll say first and basically we're going to put some limits in here so that if the speed goes over a set limit, then it will retract back to a certain, um, then it was basically, you know, revert back to its min and maximum. So that's what we're kind of going to be doing on this. So we'll just say, we'll make this, um, make this tag real quick. And again, we'll call it speed command. Uh, and that's just, that's just a name we're going to call the tag, right? So we'll say if speed command is um, greater than zero, then we're going to have the speed command. So the speed command, we just basically type the tag again, or you can copy paste it, whatever you want to do. Then it's equal to And then we'll put zero and then make sure if you're ending the statement that you end it with uh, basically the same way I'm ending this. So you don't want to have the wrong um, you know, bracketing or you don't want to have anything, you know, basically the same. So basically all I'm saying here is if I'm making an if statement, the speed select is greater than zero, then or actually less than zero, I'm sorry. If it's less than zero, then we want to take the speed select and then write uh, equal to to zero. So then we'll end that, right? And then we'll basically, at the end of your statement, you have to say end if. And it, when you say end if, again, you have to put your, your proper... Uh, your end statement in there so basically again the end statement would be um, of the what you know exactly what you're doing so uh, as we start doing them you'll, you'll kind of get the familiar you know you get a little bit more familiar with that so again so now what we'll do is we'll set so that's the minimum right so we don't want to go below zero um, and then what we'll do now is we'll set the maximum so if um, and then we'll select our tag so we can just come in here and browse tags select our tag um, and we'll, we'll come back and put that lowercase so it all looks the same and then we'll say if this is greater than or equal to right so if it's greater than or equal to and we'll say a hundred in our case then so you're basically saying if this happens, then you want to do something else, right? Then we'll take the speed command. And again, we'll just browse tags and put the tag in so that you know that you can do multiple ways. Then we want to, again, we want to put our equal to. 
and then we'll put 100 and then close that out and then what we'll do is uh, put the end if so underscore if so basically all we're saying here right is is if the speed command is less than zero then we want to take the speed command and make sure it we write a zero into the speed command so therefore the speed command cannot go a negative number then on the counter side to it so that you can treat this one as so what we'll do is we'll, we'll uh, put a run comment above this and we'll say set min speed and then on this one what we're doing is we're, we're basically setting the high limit so we're basically saying if the speed command uh, is greater than or equal to a hundred then we want to move a hundred into the speed command so we won't we don't let it we won't let it go to a hundred over a hundred so um, again we'll put a comment in there and we'll say set set uh, max speed if yeah if greater than 100 so set min speed if less than uh, 0 so that basically now we have our comments right so we have well this is basically a comment saying this is how you comment now we want to say exactly what we you know we were kind of we wrote out what we were going to do our um, basically our if statement and then our, our end if and then we said okay this is what we're trying to accomplish here right and uh, only reason we're so again this is just this is just your comment right so that's just what we're putting in there right so um, for that matter um, you know it, it's just something that we can easily document the system right so we can easily document what we're doing for us and for those people that come behind us okay so now that that's done so again, uh, to kind of recap, and, and I, I want to make these videos kind of short. So what we'll do is we'll we'll uh, pick up on the next video. But to, to recap, all we did was create a tag, and we this tag is a dent, right? So at this point, and what we'll do is, uh, I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and download. So we'll do who active. Uh, we'll download to our processor, which we are in processor one. So we'll download to that and then what we'll do is we'll go to run and in order to see this the best way you can do this is to go to the uh, view and then go to watch that pulls up this down this uh, bottom bar down here so what we'll do is we'll say uh, we'll enter in a value of one and it stays the speed command stays at one now let's let's uh, actually enter in a value of negative so let's say negative five so that's going to write all the way to zero because what we did here is we protected it with a minimum value right we said if the value equals or is less than uh, zero then we want to push a zero into that value so if you look at it you you read this way but you write this way so you're writing a zero into that tag so in this instance it kind of it, it kind of throws the the pattern of left to right kind of out of sequence like if you're doing normal ladder logic you would actually look at that as it should be left to right right to make something true um, in this case you can write both ways you can actually have the equation or the the statement both ways you can say if this happens then do this but you're pushing a zero you're basically saying the and you can look at it that way too it's still left to right because you're you're pushing a zero into that's like almost like a move statement right you're pushing a zero into the the command 
So now let's go back to watch. Right, so view, watch. And now let's go, uh, let's stick a value of 100, um, 99. It stays at a value of 99. Now let's stick a value of 101 in there. 101. And that goes to 100. So we know our code is working right, right? So we have our min and max. We, we have everything working. Um, really, really simple so far. Really simple logic. Nothing fancy. Um, just something there to protect our minimum and maximum of our speed control. So what we're doing, again, is, is we're setting, uh, making sure that the speed command that we're trying to do um, is not going to uh, be less than zero or greater than 100. Very simple logic, and you notice it's kind of grayed out. So in, able, in, in order to edit this, you just simply go back to start pending edits. It's pretty simple as far as that goes. So um, real quick, again, we'll kind of end this video, and we'll pick up and start adding more logic to this. And we'll keep on programming with the if, then, and else. But So um, I just wanted to clarify what we did so far and, and basically um, you know, how to, how to actually check it. So again, go to your watch, and then the watch will show all of the tags. Again, this is a dent, so it's going to have everything, you know, it's going to have the um, double integers as far as that goes. But, um, you know, we're using it as a, um, you know, like a raw value. So um, as far as that goes. <clears throat> uh, so what we did is something very simple right now, and we'll, uh, we'll close this video out and pick up on the next video. So uh, I'll see you there.